been over here for a while now. I think we almost got it back to where it was when I first left it. Which kind of looked like this. Just needs a rake. Less there, he dug out all that stuff, so that doesn't need to be done anymore. Just basically needs a good rake. All that shit stacked up, the wood pile. I think I'm gonna go see if I can talk the city into a permit so I can just burn it and be done with it. Post a hot dog roast or something down here. Maybe, if the city will let me. Lots of rules with those guys. Pretty sure Les didn't show up and all because we're socked in with fog, man. This guy's been let down so many times by people saying they were coming to help him. And nobody showed up. So I don't blame him for not showing up on me. See your fucking breath a mile away. It's cold, foggy. Winterish. It sucks. Good part is though, most of this mess is now cleaned up. Quick work job, and maybe a bag or two left, and it's done. Not a bad little pile compared to what I've hauled out of here. And how long it's taken to get it all out of here. It wasn't for Dave Sharp. Les, I'm not going to call his last name because I'm not 100% positive. And me. This still would have looked like the two, three foot pile that I walked across. Of garbage. into the waterway. All you gotta do is look back at the video and you can see everything that's been done. Next day I gonna come over here We'll pack this shit to the top of the hill because I don't want anybody else ripping it apart. If I catch somebody fucking ripping it apart down here, they're probably going to lay down here for a while. Because utterly that just pissed me off, having to pick up shit that I already picked up fucking once. It's the same as the bin over there. Fill the bin up, come back the next day, throw a bunch of shit in. Day in, day out, over and over and over. It's garbage. Leave it the fuck alone. If there's anything good, I would've took it. Well, y'all have a good night. I'm done for the day. See you on the next videos.